figured I'd come to at least right here, guys. This place is pretty cool. Old mine shaft. Let's go check it out. I didn't bring a flashlight. Hey! I don't think anybody's home. Nope. Might be some bats up in there though. And that's what brought us here. I've been all the way up this trail before. It's pretty freaking gnarly. Really don't do want to do it without brakes. But I mean, I could, but I really don't want to. They had some sort of ore platform over here. Probably a pump. Pumping, this is probably a dam. There's probably a pump and a dam for their uh, for their crusher or their shaker table, whichever they use. I'm sure they use the crusher because this is ore. This is hard rock mining here. So I'm guessing they used uh, a crusher of some sort. And this is where they dammed up this here spring that's apparently no longer running. At least it doesn't have water in it now. I haven't seen water in it in a long time. But, yeah. Always wanted to get in there. These hills are freaking littered with these mines like this, though. So there's, there's, there's more mines out here than they even know. See, I see some of their quartz there. And the gold being in there. Quartz. Quartz. They found a quartz vein right here and followed it right on up. See, I see pulverized quartz all over right here Ooh, that sounded pretty deep it don't look like it'd be too hard to get in there Just a cutting torch. They dug this back quite a bit. If you look. But out here in the Jacksonville area, man, there's like I said, there's there's mines running all over in, in, in through the town of Jacksonville. So many of them that people's backyards from time to time cave in because there's a, a mine shaft under their house or under their where their property is and they built their house over it unknowingly. <clears throat> but I'm sure if you come out here with a metal detector, you'd uh probably find some cool shit plus we could get in that cave well that mine I should say I don't know it might have been a cave I don't know it looks like it's been blasted to me so far the bike runs great except for that damn flat spot between freaking idle and, and 
I don't know, about 1,500. Right there, it kind of goes pop, 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 pop. Might be because that uh, timing advancer. The one that was in it uh, had a, like a piece of exhaust tubing welded to the outside of it and a little square chunk of rubber shoved in into the weight so neither one of them could open and advance the timing. So I went out back and grabbed one off of another TT engine I have and put it on there after freeing it up. So maybe the springs are shot, maybe it's sticking a little bit, I don't know. But it's funny how it ran pretty fucking good before. And then boom, nothing. But also that's why I had problems when I got here. Um, when I change the advancer, that's the, the also the points cam. So there was a difference between that points cam and this points cam, so the points were freaking off. So I just kind of eyeballed it and said, hey, we're going to ride. Which I'm sure you're going to see in the video. I look stupid trying to start it. I hear something moving around. Huh. There's definitely something moving around out there. Boring. I'll go ahead and shut this off for now.